day. Hey, hey, Mr. Zam here, and welcome back to another episode of All of Fabric 4. Uh, first of all, I would like to apologize for the weird and rapid transitions in the time lapse. Uh, I wanted to get into the, the one minute mark of time lapse. Okay, so hey, it turned out really well. Our factory, this factory right here, is going to house all of the modern industrial. Uh, machines and uh, multi-blocks and it's really big because modern industrialization well yeah they tend to have large multi-blocks and so I decided to just make it big so this is how it looks and I'm really happy with that one uh, from the word itself modern industrialization so I went with the modern look kind of factory I don't know if it looks like a factory but because of all this factory looking like blocks it, some, it somehow made it look like a factory, which <laughs> I'm really happy that the working mod has been added to. Because that is what made this building look like a factory. Before we get started with the electric blast furnace, again, we're, going, we're still going to be doing the electric blast furnace. Uh, and uh, let's just say this is the part 2 of that one. Uh, the previous episode is the part 1. Before I get to this, this whole thing, this electric blast furnace, I would like first... To do something and that is going to be uh, setting up the lift the lift of this factory right here so that we can access the, f the second floor and the roof top roof deck I don't know but yeah we're going to be doing that and I'm going to be making use of the lifts the lifts mod so the lift well it doesn't really have a tutorial of some sort in the internet and so I kind of went ahead and just test experiment on it and uh, I finally know how to do this by the way let's uh, get rid of this okay so the lifts this electric lifts right here needs to be in every floor so you need to wait you need to make a way to power this wirelessly or even like hide the pipes of some sort just to make your uh, elevator look nice and stuff and I do have a solution for that. Luckily, the Industrial Revolution cables, you can facade them, which is really nice. I I was, uh, I accidentally found this one out. So there's a cable, you right click on it, you, it gets facade. And if you don't, and if you want to remove the facade, you just punch it basically, and then you'll get the block. Really handy feature right there. And I'm really happy that, it, that uh, I accidentally uh, discovered this. Okay, so in every floor, I do have all of the cables set up. And what we're going to do is, uh, since I'm going to be using screen, you can make you, by the way, you can actually make use of the button itself. But the screen is more modern. And so I'm going to be using that. And if you're using screen, you need to use the screen charger as well. And it says here, it will wirelessly charge your link screens. So let's first put that in there so that this will get powered. And then we also need this electric lift. Since we're using energy, electric lift is the thing. Uh, and then in every lift, there is a benefit. Or in every tier, there is a benefit. Like for example, for the MK2, uh, you have 1.4 speed multiplier instead of the 1.2 from MK1. So in every lift, it gets even uh, powerful. But we're not going to be using that one since this is just really, you know, not that tall of an elevator. So we don't really need a fast elevator. So we can make use of just M the MK1. Okay, so now that we have a lift there, I want to put a screen first. So that it can link the screen to this screen charger that we have. And I guess I'll be standing in this block right here in this level, Y level. So I'm going to be putting the screen somewhere there. Right, and then you're going to be needing the linking tool, which I forgot to craft. And what you're going to do is you need to link the screen to the screen charger. So you right click on the screen, or rather, shift right click, and then you right click onto the screen charger. And as you can see, it has now been powered. And then this is still unlinked, it is linked to the energy, but it is not linked to the lift. So, what you're going to do is to shift right click on the link or on rather on the lift and then right click onto the screen and as you can see we now have the first floor we can rename the the floors by 
by changing this. Let's just name that as S. And as you can see, ground level. Right. So then we need a platform of some sort. I don't know if if it supports 5x5, five five, but yeah, 3x3 three three works. And uh, actually, before I put the lift, or you know what, let's, yeah, let's just put the lift. So for the lift, I'm going to be using, you can use any blocks, but I'm using the polished deep slate. So something like this, and it should tell you that there is, yeah, there we go. The lift is already at this floor. If you remove the block, it will tell you that no platform has been found. So yes, it, it is just a 3x3. Three three. And then we want to put the second lift up on this area right here. It should be a flush to the floor there. Something like so. And as you can see, it should be charging. Or maybe it's because it's charging the other machines yet. But as you can see, it has now seen the second floor. In order for us to control this lift, we will put again a screen. And then let's do the same thing. Let's shift right click on that one and link it to the screen. To the wireless screen. Uh, screen charger there we go and then let's link the screen to this lift that we have there we go so we now have access to the second floor so let's put the platform there and then there we go all right pretty fancy now i forgot to rename this I sh this one should be first floor or second floor, I don't know. Second floor. Set name. There we go. So, it doesn't have enough energy. Yes, the, the lift is still charging. So now that I have uh, set up the lift, we can actually call. Oh, it doesn't have energy. Okay. Moving on to the next agenda of today's episode, which is the electric blast furnace. Okay. So, now that we've pretty much steamed up the steam age, that's what I mentioned last episode. We have a better way of making steel, right? So I do have my blast or the steam blast furnace here. And we can make steel out from the steam blast furnace. But it's just that it's super slow. Right, so I went with the Tech Reborn's route of creating steel. Uh, if we take a look at the recipe of the steel. This is the steam blast furnace. Uh, the, the benefit of using the steam blast furnace is you can efficiently make steel. So in every 7 iron dust, you can make 9 steel dust out from 2 coke dust, right? So that's uh, that's a win, or that's 2 more steel out from the 7 iron dust. But for the tech reborn one, the ratio is 1 is to 1. So in every 1 refined iron ingot, you can get 1 steel ingot. This route right here is not efficient. For this one requires 4 coal dust, and this one right here is efficient. Is because it only requires one coal dust. Process the coal dust into two carbon cells. And then with that, we can then create the steel. This one right here. And uh, yeah, in between episodes, I've been just processing the steel. And as you can see, we have 9 stacks and 52 steel ingots in there. And as you can see, I've somewhat uh, pre-automated it. Not really in a sense, but I just have to put the coal dust in here and then refine iron ingot, and then it will just create steel for me, So which is really good. Now that I have a bunch of steel, I guess it's now safe to say that we're pretty much done with the steam age. What do we need in order to get started with the electric age? I believe this is the first thing that you need to make, which is the steel wire mill. I believe this is the thing that you need first. And then after that is you need to get this large steam boiler since steel machines uses more steam and so we need a better boiler and I think that's where this large steam boiler comes in. And then after that we can then make use of the LV steam turbine create electricity out from the steam. So that's where the electric age really comes in. So I'll be making, I guess I'll be making the steel wire mill the large steam boiler and as well as this uh, LV steam turbine and uh, yeah I'll, I'll be right back to you guys after that so see you in a bit
and many copper blocks oxidized later, we managed to grab, well, not all, but most of the materials uh, needed to craft the, ma the, the, the machines. So again, uh, what we're needing is uh, to make the steel wire mill, and we also need to grab the large steam boiler and as well as the LV steam turbine, which it I believe it's a multi-block. I'm not sure, but yes, I do believe so. Okay, so uh, we have all of the materials needed to craft the steel wire mill, and it's just a matter of setting it up and uh, use it to, to craft the other necessary things. If we take a look at the wire mill again, it says here, mix coke dust with water in a mixer, you'll get raw steel. Oh, oh yeah, by the way, uh, as you can see, there's a lot of progress happened in between the cut. Uh, what I well, What basically happened is I've upgraded our boiler to steel boiler because we're using uh, a steel mixer now so yeah we also i also put up a tank to store some steam so that we ca we have like a backup of some sort and then i moved the machines down so that we have this like real physics you know it's just realistic to have it in the bottom also i found out that you can actually put up to three uh, pipes in one block so that's a really useful uh, information right there uh, and uh, this is a very good example of that one we'll, we'll get to that later okay so for now uh, I'm using this uh, setup right here wherein we're getting creosote oil right from burning coal in the coke oven turning them into coke and then the 50% chance to get creosote oil and then we have this like omnidirectional uh, fluid and input which this mixer is getting creosote out from that one which well I since I run out of redstone I cannot convert it to lubricant but yes uh, the modern industrialization machines have an auto output uh, toggability so yeah we cannot auto input but we can auto output though so that's a really handy uh, mechanic right there with that we could just auto output the the lubricant the process lubricant to this uh, bronze cutting machine and uh, not have to put it in a wire or in a pipe so yep also we have tons of lubricant now and uh, this bronze cutting machine has been really helpful in creating some of the blocks like this steel rod right here as you can see if we go with a manual uh, conversion of ingots to, to rods we get a one-to-one -one ratio, right? But with the cutting machine, you get two rods out from an ingot. So that's a really efficient way of making the steel, or rather the rods. So you really need to somewhat automate this uh, bronze cutting machine because this will really help you. And then, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this area right here. In this area right here, I routed a cable that leads downward to towards this uh, tank right here. It is connected to this steel water pump as you might see there. So yes, we're getting water out from the steel water pump and uh, putting it in a tank. So we could uh, just grab some water in here. And then uh, this process right here is for making this in, uh, the rubber itself. This this one right here, the rubber sheet. We're, this is very useful for crafting the, the circuits itself. So in order for us to grab those rubbers, uh, if we take a look at, again, it is stated in the book that we need to get synthetic oil. So it says here, mix coke dust with water in a mixer and you will get raw synthetic oil. And yep, that's what I did. So I've, I've just been putting some coke dust in there to grab some raw synthetic oil. And then we are pumping it to the steam blast furnace to convert this raw synthetic oil into synthetic oil itself and then this synthetic oil will be converted to synthetic rubber in a steel mixer it has to be a steel mixer or it will not work and yeah we do have a huge amount of steel resource now so i just made a steel mixer and yeah we converted the synthetic oil together with sulfur dust into synthetic rubber and with this we can convert uh one paper into 12 rubber rubber sheets instead of the two which is from the synthetic oil so this uh this thing right here is uh, really efficient for getting the rubber sheets because again we're going to be using this a lot 
because we're going to be using a lot of the cables and as well as we're going to be using the capacitors basically the rlc circuits right so now that we have our rubber sheets and we also have the wire mill i guess we can now proceed even further so it uh this one right here this is for the large steam boiler and this one requires the analog circuit and uh, yep the analog circuits requires this so for the resistor it needs the copper fine wire which yes that is a that is from the wire mill and uh, copper wire is well still from the wire mill itself so uh let's put the steel wire mill somewhere so for now how about here and then i guess we need to wrench the pipe all right okay so 16 copper wire and then we're going to be converting i believe uh, let's see in every copper wire it gives you four copper fine wire which yeah i need four of that to get six resistors so it's just one there we go and then i guess we can now craft everything so let's see this is the resist the resistor i believe yes the resistors and then this one is for the inductor this one is the res or the capacitor rather and then i guess we have everything to craft the analog circuits uh not quite if you may be wondering what these two ender chests do well this this white uh all white configuration of entangled chest it is connected to the compressor from tech reborn which uh that's i i believe that's the fastest way of creating the plates as of the moment because well yeah the bronze really is just really slow so again i need let's see i need more capacitors right so that's four more gold plates so if i'm going to put four gold ingots in there we then get the go the the four gold plate and then if you put the plates in there it will turn into a curved plate which yes it's a it's a mi thing so with this i don't have to keep going back and forth to that uh, sec first factory that we have yeah that makes our life easier uh, inductor yeah and then we're missing the copper wires alrighty so then we can now craft the large boiler hey there we go kiss your fuel goodbye yes I mean not I'm not sure about that one because this one requires fuel okay so if we take a look at the recipe of this uh, and uh, look at the multi-block materials. This is a multi-block, okay? And then you need to craft this. But not all of them. Not precisely. Not exactly that many. Because cause this boiler requires three hatches, right? And so uh, what I did here is instead of 24, I only crafted, I only opted to 22 bronze large plates because i'm going to be putting two hatches uh up top let me craft those and then i i opted to instead of nine heat proof machine casing to just eight because i'm going to because again i'm going to be putting a hatch uh below so right so uh we also have our two bronze uh, pipe machine casing which i've already crafted that one and then we also have our hatches right here all right so then i guess i'm going to be putting the hatch here for now since this is a three by three by four i believe uh the fluid input is going to be on this side right here and then let's configure that to be uh, inputting from the bottom there let me get rid of this okay so then heat proof machine casing something like that so if we this I, I actually just found this one out today uh, if you have a wrench in your in your in your hand any of your hand uh, you can actually see the multi block like look at this it's this fancy right so then uh, that's a bunch of bronze plated bricks I'm going to do that so something like this and then the middle is going to be where the bronze pipe uh, machine casing is going to sit anyways let's try putting the bronze fluid output hatch here 
then let's put the machine casing in the middle all right and then let's see great so then let's surround this area with that one and then i guess the steel item hatch is going to sit in there uh yep it's it needs to be on to the bottom oh no two more bronze plated bricks that and that Alrighty, that looks fancy okay so uh i guess we're going to put a fluid pipe there and uh put this on output uh that is fluid output hatch right what is is, is something missing we need flu uh rod or like fuel in there right so this one should be now producing a lot of steam right then for some reason i cannot wrench Ah, huh, there we go anyways uh moving on there we go so for now i'll just be temporarily chucking in some uh rods in there but really that's not the important part because the important part is to craft the lv steam turbine this is i guess this will be the main goal for now of today's episode yeah again i guess we're going to be putting a third part of electric blast furnace but hey this is it the final thing so it requires analog circuits and a bit of tin cables and motors which oh that's a lot of crafting I'll be right back. See you in a bit. Okay, I believe I have all of the resources now to craft the LV steam turbine. This and this. LV steam turbine. Da -da -da. Alrighty. So. Is this... Oh, it's not. It's not a, a multi-block. Oh, that's good to know. So, okay. Alright. So, we have this large boiler now that right so with this we can just actually uh use this directly to make power assuming that's correct i guess so then how about uh, let's do a little bit of zoom in there there we go so it should yes we're generating eu now finally so yeah, uh, we managed to grab a large boiler, uh, which uh, that is pretty useful for creating electricity. For that, uh, turbine right there converts the steam into electricity by kinetic energy, if you'd say. And uh, we also managed to automate the whole rubber thingy. And uh, yeah, it's just a mat. I believe in the next episode, we're going to grab the electric blast furnace, which then, what that means is we can then get a jetpack. Hopefully. Hopefully for the next episode, we get the jetpack. And then after that next episode, is going to be an ender fight. And that will open up a lot of things to us. So I guess, yeah, guys, that will be it for today's episode. I do hope you enjoyed today's episode. And if you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe as well if you loved our content right here. See you in the next episode. As always, have a nice day. Peace out. We will win. This time we'll have to join forces.